Oh, hi there. Ah, all right. Just a little break in all the rain that we have. We had a lot of rain. Rain and storm, rain and storm. Well, that's it. Well, just using using the, the, the little break from the rain so far, doing some, I don't know, some work in the garden. I had to cut another tree and, and just check my my tobacco seed, uh, how that's coming up. Uh, this season's um, tobacco seed. So I decided to go only for birdie uh, this time. So last period uh, I had a bunch of different tobaccos, but I promise going to show you that in another video. It's coming up. Um, but I think this year I just go with burley. Yeah. So after the war, my grandfather, uh, he used to live on a property quite similar to that. So that was on a Klein garden. So because of all the cities were destroyed and everything. So uh, people just tried to to live in the gardens, uh, building up a small house and something. So uh, every time I do something like that, I'm a little bit reminded uh, of that. So because, well, I grew up there too, uh, for, for spent several uh, years um, uh, being pretty often uh, there in the, in the garden and so on. Yeah, well, but today I have a different topic. Or perhaps it's not that different because my grandfather, uh, if he would be still alive, he would be very interested, I think, in, in this topic. Um, yeah. Among all the other things I appreciate uh, when it comes to our hobby, the pipe smoking, um, there's one thing I always appreciate it uh, specifically, and that is that we have an affordable hobby. I think so. I think that pipe smoking is a hobby that's it's really affordable. I think by everyone, or nearly everyone. So um, it doesn't have to be uh, too pricey. Yeah, is it really like that? So sometimes I'm thinking about that, if that's really true. So, well, you know, Many channels, and my, my channel, of course, this is very often about, about fancy stuff or high price tobacco. Well, it's not because we're just looking out as presenters, or let's say I just can talk for me. I'm not, not looking out specifically for an expensive tobacco to show you, but uh, looking for something special. Uh, when, when it comes to all these, I don't know, roll flakes, um, cakes, and uh, all pre-aged tobaccos, and yeah, who knows, uh, who knows what, um, then we talk at high price tobacco very often, very often, especially when it comes to special editions and all those things, so. And several guys uh, asked me, can't you do something about affordable tobacco? So about, I don't know, they said cheap tobacco. I don't, I'm not too comfortable with, uh, uh, with the word cheap tobacco. So uh, I think I would like to call that economy tobacco. <laughs> and there may, be, there may be many reasons to go with economy tobacco or affordable tobacco. Mm. So one reason maybe that you can't afford a high price tobacco, a really expensive tobacco, but uh, and you don't have to be ashamed of that. So uh, there were several guys that were in difficult positions. Um, uh, even talked to some some refugees and then told me, "Oh, we we like your channel, we like pipe smoke, and we can't afford much. So uh, what do you recommend?" Um, so, or let's say uh, in your studies or your young you know, or, or your unemployed, there are many, many reasons why every one of us could get in a situation where we can't afford uh, high priced tobacco. Um, but many guys, um, and that brings me back to my grandfather, 
many guys they just don't want to spend uh, too much money on tobacco. So after the war, my fa my grandfather couldn't afford uh, high-priced tobacco, but after several years, he could. But he wouldn't. I don't know. He just stick to to I don't know. I don't want to say the cheapest tobacco he could get, but it's probably uh, true. Um, can't even really remember, but it was always some, I don't know, some cigarette-like uh, tobacco. And yeah, so many guys, uh, they don't want to spend too much money. So brings me to the point, um, is, is pipe smoking? Uh, doesn't really have to be about uh, high price tobacco or highest quality tobacco, highest level you can get. What about uh, those uh, economy tobaccos? Are they smokable? Um, um, and is it a pleasure at all? Or would we just say, well, well, it's better to stop smoking that? So that was my question, my point when I started uh, the whole thing. Um, so I wanted to find out and I started by uh, taking a look into the German tobacco newspaper. And what is that? So, <laughs> Deutsche Tabak Zeitung. So that's a that's some kind of. It's not really a newspaper. It's coming up uh, once a year, and uh, it's more a list of all tobaccos available uh, for retailers, and with all the price prices and, and all the ingredients and so on. So uh, Ronnie gave it to me, and I just took a look, and I. I ordered a bunch of tobaccos and uh, my only condition was uh, it should be uh, less than 6 euros 50 gram 6 euros 50 gram that was my, my limit so um, less than that so I gathered all that up uh, tried hard on them so and I wanna I just wanna wanna tell you uh what about these tobaccos and perhaps what about those those economy tobaccos uh in general. I don't know if we could, could find that out. But I think uh we should hop in in the cottage uh at the fireplace uh better to talk uh to talk there. So follow me. Yeah, well, so I'm back. Ah, oh, that's better. Uh, I just uh, changed my jacket and uh, reloaded another pipe. Uh, I'm going to tell you at uh, the end of the video, if I don't forget, um, which tobacco I'm smoking. Because it's one of those economy tobaccos. Mm, yeah, all right. So I already told you uh, what was my procedure to to find out about economy tobac tobaccos, and it was not only about those specific tobaccos, but also about um, yeah. Can you really get a good smoke on uh, for this kind of price? So uh, I tried six different um, economy tobaccos uh, and compared them. I try to. Uh, I, I always try to to get some uh, near to natural tobacco, and that's not an easy task uh, if you watch out for economy tobaccos. Uh, I think the reason is that it's um, perhaps easier for the companies uh, to do something with um, on uh, low quality tobacco and just putting enough aroma on it. Uh, so you can't really uh, forget about the quality. So, well, that's but that's just a guess. Mm, I don't know. There are, there are different possibilities. Also possible that economy pipe smokers that uh, they just um, I don't know. They're very fond of uh, of aromatics, or they they really look out for for aromatic tobaccos. That's also uh, possible. So, so I don't know about that. Um, so what I try to to get them uh, quite natural, uh, if possible, 
and I tried to uh, to get tobaccos from different companies. That was important to me, uh, not just to watch out for one company. What do they do? So, but uh, want to want to have a, a look on the market. So I can't do all the tobaccos, of course. So, all right, let's get things started finally. Mm. So the first thing, and I I did some notes. So I have to to watch my notes uh, from time to time. So. The first uh, tobacco uh, I want to show you, under six euros per 50 gram, um, that would be, so, that would be the Earl. Uh, the brand is uh, Sir Henry Tobacco, and it's the Earl. So, this tobacco um, is made from Virginia, Burley, and, and they add a little bit of vanilla, they say. So. Uh, we want to see that. Interesting point about this tobacco, it has different cuts. So, uh, we'll find out that most of these economy tobaccos, that they have a, a very simple ribbon cut. Mm. So that may be special about this tobacco. So, uh, look at this. So, mm, well, you know, it's, it's packed for Imuri. Uh, perhaps I have to explain Emuri. So Emuri, this is some kind of uh, a retailer, German retailer union. Uh, so they they all came together to to have this uh, union uh, to have better conditions uh, when they order some some stuff or special stuff. They're getting things done, special tobaccos, just for their own uh, shops and so on. So, it's some kind of retailer brand, uh, Emuri. And uh, but pretty sure, mm, I'm not too sure, but pretty sure when I see this one, so that's the reason why I showed you that. Um, pretty sure it's done tobacco. Well, that's I don't know that that's how done tobacco normally handles those things. So, but I'm, I'm not sure about that. Mm, all right, it is some some kind of ready wrapped cube cut. So <laughs> if you want want to take it like this, so yeah, different cuts, but not too different really. Mm, yeah, all right. When you take a whiff of that, yeah, well, it is vanilla and some I don't know some aroma on it. Um. Not so sure. A little bit of vanilla honey like perhaps. Yeah, um it is not too common. So this this tobacco, you you won't find this tobacco uh, on every shelf in the shops. So perhaps you have to order uh, this one. So if you light that up, uh, so it's easy to pack. I'm not a huge fan of this kind of cut. Uh, I don't know. Let me let me be honest about that. Well, I'm already not a huge fan of of, uh, of the cube cup, but when it, when it comes to this kind of ready wrap cube cup, um, I don't know. That's just not what I do normally. But the tobacco behaves pretty well, um, and it's surprisingly surpri surprisingly smooth and nice at least for the first half of the bowl. If you get to the second half of the bowl, things change a bit. So you have to be careful with them. Uh, I don't know, not to push it too far, not to give too much heat on the tobacco. I think that that is connected to the Virginia, so the main component here, what they use. Well, that's, uh, that's mainly the same thing for most of the tobaccos we're talking about, because most of those tobaccos they're Virginia tobaccos, Virginia Burley mixtures normally, perhaps combined with a little bit of Cavendish. Uh, except one tobacco, that's a difference. And there's a reason for that, I think so. None of those tobaccos I'm going to show you is something, I don't know, something with Perique or, or Latakia uh, or an Oriental uh, or something like that. And there are good reasons for that because those are expensive tobaccos. 
Um, so if you want to do an economy tobacco as a company, uh, you, you're pretty much stuck with uh, Virginia and uh, perhaps Cavendish and uh, yeah, and some some birdie, of course. So all right, um, let's let's take this one. So there's no real problem with vanilla. There's not too much in front here. Um, so it's not too dominant, but you will find out that's a vanilla mixture. Um, there are also other uh, options uh, when it comes to to the series of, of Sir Henry tobaccos. Uh, there is also um, a Marquess, I think, and a Duke. So with different other flavors. All right, uh, that was the first one under six euros. I uh, can't really remember what was it. Five euros, seventy-five cent per fifty gram. But we can do cheaper. So uh, the next one I want to show you is a very common tobacco uh, here in Germany. Uh, quite popular. Uh, you're gonna find this tobacco. Uh, I'm gonna show you. Uh, that's the Brookfield. The Brookfield. Uh, take a look at that. Mm. So Brookfield also has. Uh, a bunch of different uh, sorts of tobacco. So we're talking here number one. I think that was formerly known as the Brookfield Aromatic. And there are different German videos about that at least. So Brookfield, uh, yeah this is very typical here. So it is a tobacco that we call in Germany uh, Tankstellen tabak. Tankstellen tabak. That means fuel station tobacco. Uh, and that's another word for, for brick and mortar or over-the-counter tobacco. Uh, something you, you can easily get. Um, and I think it is like that. Well, nowadays uh, it's hard to find uh, tobacco at few stations at all. So, but, uh, except for cigarettes. So we're talking pipe tobacco here. Uh, Alright, so the Brookfield. And this is some, some, some Burley, uh, some Java leaf. Oh, well, that's... Well, it's not too much. Uh, some Virginia and some vanilla. So also some vanilla here. So vanilla very popular when it comes to those economy tobaccos. Uh, I think one reason is uh, they have to sell a lot to, to do a proper living. Because, you know, well, you know, we're talking 5 euros, uh, 4 euros to 6 euros a 50 gram, but 2 euros 50 cent. Uh, that is already the tax. So tobacco tax. So I don't know to get your fair cut out of that, and uh, you have to sell a lot. And vanilla. Vanilla. I don't know. Who doesn't like vanilla? What is not to like about vanilla? Uh, I'm planning on another video about vanilla tobaccos because I I'm asking myself the question: What is not to like about vanilla? So uh, I'm not pretty sure what. Uh, Let's see. Um, all right, so vanilla again here, and won't be the last one. So it's a ribbon, and it's produced by Bashel. Bashel, an old German company. Mm. I don't, I'm not pretty sure if they do it by license uh, from, from an American producer. Mm. Yeah, it's quite natural. It's, it doesn't hit you, uh, so this is a good, it smells pretty good, uh, let me see if I can handle this. Mm. Alright, you see what, what we're talking about, so that's a ribbon, but looks pretty nice, well, brown, packs easily, so it's not too wet. Why do I point that out? So it's not too wet. So none of those tobaccos is too wet, and that's interesting for me. So they're not trying to sell us water. So that's the point. And that was in that was an interesting um, fact to me that that they're not trying to sell us water. Um, yeah, could be an idea if you if you do some cheap tobacco just to push the amount of of humidity uh, in the tobacco and you, you just uh, save a lot of tobacco um, alright but they don't do it packs very well 
lights up easily. It's a smooth um, smoke. It's even a good smoke. Uh, this tobacco is also good to do in some mixtures, perhaps one, with one of the other tobaccos. Uh, that could be an everyday smoke. Uh, an affordable tobacco. I don't know. It's honest tobacco, not too honest because there is vanilla in it. But anyway, uh, it is a good smoke, at least uh, for, let's say, first and second, um, uh, third of the bowl. At the end of the bowl, you're gonna have the same problems, or you're facing the same trouble, or you're facing with all those uh, tobaccos, with those economy tobaccos. If you push them, if you go too hard on them, and that's really a difference, um, uh, for me, that's really a difference to a high price of tobaccos. There's some, I don't know, some old gory tobacco or some. Uh, yeah, well, I'd say that some rat race tobacco, some high class Virginias. Um, um, well, you, you're gonna have to push them very hard uh, to to get some sharp notes and so on. That's different here, so uh, easy to get some sharp notes uh, from this tobacco in the end of the bowl if you if you push too hard. Uh, and I think. This may be a lack of quality, so uh, what well, in the end you're really facing them of uh, that it is well, it is not expensive tobacco. Let's say that. All right, um, so that's a very common one, uh, and there are also different types uh, of the Brookfield. Um, there is also a uh, black bourbon version, uh, black vanilla, uh, so. But I think they have new names now. I guess they're now called number two and number three. So uh, that's related to new tobacco law. So they, uh, they're not supposed to have, I don't know, delicious names. Um, all right. Um, we're going to continue. Um, uh, so the next one on my list. So we can, we can do cheaper or stay in the same price range. Did I already tell the price? I don't think so. So this... This is 50 gram, four euros, uh, 75 cent. Four euros, 75 cent. Oh, wow, that's that's amazing. So uh, that's really cheap. So um, I, I'm gonna give you something to compare that. Perhaps if you're from Germany uh, or you're not into those things uh, too much, uh, that you have an idea. So we talking. Four euros, 75 cent uh, here per 50 gram. So the three nuns, that's one of the most expensive tobaccos uh, on the German market. We're talking 17 euros, 20 cent. 17 euros, 20 cent. And it even gets more expensive when it comes to uh, Samuel Gavith Cabbage Mixture. Uh, we're talking uh, 18 euros 50 cent, 18 euros 50 cent for 50 gram uh, when it comes to cabbage mixture. So just to to have an idea on that, 4 euros 75 cent, that is really cheap. Um, so we have a third one, but so uh, we still are thinking the same price range. Uh, we still uh, have uh, 4 euros 75 cent here. Um, that's an interesting one. So that's the Colts. So that's also a brand, the Colts, American mixture. So that different mixtures uh, from Colts. Uh, there's also uh, 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 an original mixture and a ruby. Wow, uh, well, ruby, that's cherry, of course. Uh, but this one promises to to be, I don't know, to be near to natural let's say that um or nearer than the, than the other ones i think so but anyway it's not uh so it's, it's not too near let's say that but i was really positively surprised uh, by that tobacco gonna show you the tobacco oh. yeah when you take a whiff from that that's this is delicious um so this is delicious look at that uh, you can already see that it's Black Cavendish, um, uh, it's Virginia. Uh, they say, uh, they 
that put it on an aroma. Um, that will be vanilla, nougat, and vanilla. They really say so. So perhaps that they do two times vanilla on it. Yeah, can't hurt. So this this one is really a nice aromatic. So I I, I really like this tobacco. So it's the same here than with the other tobaccos. Uh, at the end of the bowl, you you can you can face some trouble. Uh, perhaps the aroma breaks down if you go too hard on it. Uh, or perhaps even some sharp notes, so some tongue bite might even be possible. So, but if you're careful, if you just go and smooth on that, uh, you're gonna have a nice aromatic. Uh, let me let me point out one thing uh, when it comes to this tobacco, uh, but also uh, about the other tobaccos. So this tobacco is not complex, but it is a decent smoke. Well, you can't really go wrong with that. We're talking four euros uh, seventy-five cent, and it's a good smoke. Is it better than smoking nothing? Of course it is. But there's something else. Um, well, if you know the channel, then you know I'm, I always do a, a review about the Christmas tobaccos, and sometimes about spring tobaccos, and all those special editions normally. And. Well, especially last year, I think also the year before, I really smoked a bunch of, of worse tobaccos than this called tobacco. I think perhaps 50% of all the tobaccos um, I tried uh, for the review for the Christmas tobaccos, 50% perhaps, uh, they, might, they were much worse uh, than the Colts tobacco. And there we're talking, I don't know, 22, 23 euros a uh, hundred gram. So that would be 11 euros um, or more per 50 gram. So um, that's more than 100% more. I don't know, 150% more. And so I just want to say, um, perhaps this example already proves that it is possible to have a decent smoke, uh, to enjoy uh, the pipe uh, without, I don't know, spending 20 euros or more, or 15 euros per 50 gram, or 12 euros per 50 gram. So it is possible. As I said, there's not too much complexity to it, uh, and you can't absolutely rely on the tobacco when it comes to the last third of the bowl. But there are many tobaccos on the market for high price with, with just the same correct characteristics. Mm. Yeah, very sure for that. Mm. All right, um, so this tobacco uh, is produced by Stanwall. So text number, text number is 517. That's the tax number, uh, German tax number here on the package, and that tells me it's stand. So, yeah, I, always, uh, I already told you there's an original version, a ruby version uh, with cherry. So brings us to to the next uh, level, I think. So we we can do even cheaper. So <laughs> you won't believe it. So now uh, we have another tobacco that is quite uh, popular here in Germany. I think so. Uh, this is the Brick. I took the regular version. There are also different different versions of that. So and this is four euros thirty eight cent. Four euros thirty eight cent on a fifty gram pouch. Many of those tobaccos. They get even cheaper uh, when you when you have a large amount of that. One of those tobaccos is also available. Uh, I think this is this one. Um, yeah, this one is also available in a huge plastic box. It's really huge. It's, it's like like that, and it's 400 gram. 
400 gram in a plastic box and you can use this plastic box that's a pretty good plastic box you can use that uh, after smoking for tools or, I don't know, for, for some I don't know spare parts uh, in your shop or, or, or whatever I think that's the reason why some guys um, uh, they prefer the box and then if we talk about the box we're talking about uh, I just calculated that uh, we're talking about three euros uh, 99 cent so under four euros three euros 99 cent so all right uh, we have a Virginia here and some black cabinet nothing complicated mm -hmm. show you the tobacco but don't be surprised doesn't look so special um all right I think I think you got it um, so it's a ribbon mm. tax number uh, is 363 363 is the tax number and that tells me it's done by planter planter Berlin German company planter Berlin um, yeah it's quite natural very straight uh, so maybe it's just underlined but some aroma I'm not pretty sure what they do on it uh, well perhaps it's fun to that again but um, yeah but just quite in the back so it's, it's quite straight tobacco slightly underlined well if you're an if you're an orthodox as some people are it would be an aromatic for you, so, but for me it's not. It's not really an aromatic. It's not a heavy aromatic for sure. Mm, it's on a spanky, I think. Uh, it's a good smoke for for the first half of the bowl. Could get nasty when it comes to the second half of the bowl. Same thing here. Don't push it. If you push it, uh, you you don't want to go down that road. I'm uh, pretty sure for that. Uh, it could it could get pretty nasty um, yeah it's also available in, in different uh, in different styles so there's also a, a cherry version and pineapple I'm not pretty sure that many many guys go for the pineapple but uh, anyway um, cherry of course but most of those uh, economy tobaccos are available in cherry so if you if you watch out for the cherry tobaccos there's a there's a bunch of op of options uh, I think mm, you can you can easily find something pretty sure mm. all right let's turn the page on that yeah number five number five I think you're already waiting for that perhaps uh, no video about economy tobaccos without Carter Hall of course so uh, we, we can't we, we, we can't do that so normally it comes very different I tell you uh, but uh, I just have it in a jar here so some years ago Joshua sent me a package mm, and I found a little cartonage and yeah label just says Carter Hall and uh, Joshua said, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna send you a brick and mortar. Uh, don't expect anything, just try it out. It's so common here, it's so popular. Uh, you have to you have to know about tobacco. And I didn't expect much, I think I thought. Mm, show you the pouch. Mm. All right. So that's, that's, that's on the little cut of knife. I'll show you that one. Mm. So there's a little description here on the back side. Well, they're saying the, the usual thing, so uh, it's a unique blend, of course. Um, yeah, so the interesting point here is uh, that they they always wanted to do that was uh, that was what the tobacco was supposed to be uh, an economy tobacco, so good tobacco for very low price. They wanted to do that. All right. Uh, they say, yeah. 
anyway, they say a lot of stuff. Uh, so it's Burley and Virginia in the end, and they put an aroma from bourbon, cocoa, and chocolate on. And I'll show you. So inside the little car or not, you're gonna find this this uh, pouch. Well, they say it's a luxury pouch. So I'll show you the backy. Nothing really special about it. I think most of you know the color hole, but I'm gonna talk about this anyway. So some of the European watchers they, they might not know color hole. Mm -hmm. So if you take a look on that. Yeah. So my package is, is I don't know, perhaps the cocoa is gone or whatever. Uh it's just chocolate. I don't smell the bourbon, but perhaps the bourbon is already gone, so but I smell chocolate. All right, it's really a classical pipe tobacco in the U.S. Everyone knows that. And let me tell you a story. I, I want to tell you a funny story. So, so Bjorn Rippen, so Bjorn, if you see that, my apology for that. Well, no offense. I don't think there's any offense in the story, but I'm going to tell the story now uh, about how Kent, Kent came to came to Germany. He wanted to, to visit me and Bjorn, and uh, we met up in Bremen. We had a little tour. I think there's also a video on, on Bjorn's channel uh, about the tour we did in, in Bremen and, and so on. And anyway, we had a, we had a great time. Uh, and well, then in the evening, uh, uh, so Kent came with a huge bag of tobaccos, of course. Uh, he didn't come empty-handed. And he he brought tobacco for us. So for me, he brought, I don't know, he brought six pens, uh, navigator, and I don't know, some of those fancy tobaccos. And the only order uh, I think that Björn did, well, Björn said to Kent, well, just bring me Carl Hall. Uh, as, as much as possible. So he, he, he could have made every choice. So he, he could have gone with every tobacco, but he wanted to go with Carl Hall. And I think Bjorn, you did well. So um, yeah. I just tell you the story uh, to show you that even, let's say, a German presenter, uh, I don't know, smoking a lot of different tobaccos, uh, but you know, it's some kind of, I don't want to say addicted, but is really uh, into Carter Hall, uh, so and that tells a lot about Carter Hall and the tobacco itself. So it is really good tobacco. I'm really impressed um, by the behavior uh, of the tobacco. It behaves so well. It's easily packed. It's good to light up. Uh, has a smooth aroma. There is nothing complex to the tobacco, of course. Uh, well, uh, it's a it's an aromatic tobacco. But it's really a good aromatic tobacco, and you can go with that um, as an everyday tobacco. There's nothing bad about it. You can't really complain about that. And there's so many to worse tobaccos for high price um, when it comes to aromatic tobaccos. But th that's just my opinion. I know uh, many guys think, "Well, now Carter Hall, that's brick and mortar." Well, anyway, um, but. It is a decent smoke, and, and I know that uh, a lot of pipe smokers, uh, they go with Carter Hall or, or, I don't know, for their whole life, perhaps even. Um, anyway, it's a good smoke, I think, and uh, we're talking here about, uh, so I had to recalculate that, because it's uh, it's uh, 1.5 ounces uh, for $4.15. And if you recalculate that on a 50 gram, uh, then it would be four euros 30 cent. Four euros 30, 30 cent. That's great. I think that's, yeah, that's hard to beat. That's hard to beat. So, all right. There's the challenge. Uh, Carter Hall, four euros 30 cent. Very good aromatic. So, but the calls. I showed you is also very good aromatic, so that could be perhaps comparable. Mm. Okay, 
that's tried to beat the car whole. Uh, perhaps, perhaps we can, I don't know. So I'm going to show you tobacco and that's the tobacco I'm smoking right now. And there's a reason for that. So, so this tobacco comes in a tin 180 gram. And that's the smallest amount they have. They don't they do not do 50 gram. I don't know what I... 180 gram, uh, that's the minimum uh, you can get. And 180 gram, this is 13 euros 95 cent. 13 euros 95 cent, and um, that makes 3 euros 88 cent. 3 euros 88 cent per 50 gram. Uh, I'll show you that. So, a huge box. Yeah. You don't see anything special about that, but I tell you what, well, first thing that's special is it is very dry. It's very dry. It is smokable in this condition. I, I, I wouldn't recommend to, 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 I don't know, to rehydrate that or something like that. It's not, not, you shouldn't do that. So it's not necessary. It comes very dry and that's good news. They don't want to sell us water. So this is really a 180 gram tobacco. All right, this tobacco, as you have already seen, is called Bostov's Bester. Captain Bostov's Bester. Captain Bostov's Bester. Well, so, special about this tobacco is that it's really pure tobacco. They don't do anything on it. No vanilla, no nothing. No cherry, no I don't know. No rum, no nothing. They just stick to uh, Black Cavendish, Burley, Kentucky, and Virginia. But if you open that and you take a first whiff of that, you know it's Kentucky. The Kentucky is dominant in this tobacco. From the first moment, first whiff, you know this is honest straight tobacco and mainly so the main component when it comes to the taste is Kentucky for me at least and well you know I like the Kentucky so and uh, since I like the Kentucky I could go with that so it's produced by by Van Eiken that's a German company too uh, pure very honest strong even sweet has enough sweetness, uh, especially in the first half of the bowl. Really enough sweetness, and it's pretty strong, and even smoky, some kind of smoky. So you, you have a strong tobacco, uh, an everyday tobacco you can go with if you watch out for something. Um, I don't know, very natural and, and strong, and this tobacco, this may even be good for cellaring. So, because, well, it likes to behave bad in the last third of the bowl. Perhaps that's related to, to the fact that it comes very dry on the chew. But let's say major in this tobacco, that could be a good idea. So, uh, I don't know, six years. Start, start just with six years. Uh, you can't do, do wrong with that, so it's low price. All right, smokes pretty well. It's not complex, of course, but it's uh, it's it's a good smoke. It is for sure. So that's the last in the line of six tobaccos um, that I picked to try out, if it's possible, to have a decent smoke. Um, when you try to to do an economy smoke and as I said it was always important to me uh, that our hobby is affordable and let's say I meet a lot of cigar smokers and compared to that just just compared to that um, I think the hobby is really uh, affordable um, even if you go for the best tobaccos and most expensive tobaccos, uh, it's still economy compared to uh, a good cigar smoke. Pretty sure, pretty sure. So, 
if you buy a cabbage mixture and you go with 18 or nearly 19 uh, euros that's a lot but in the end it's about 50 cent per smoke um, or even if you have a big bowl that's perhaps close to, to a euro per smoke but try to get it an honest a decent cigar for, for one euro or for 50 cent uh, that would be very hard to find I think so mm, that's what I like about the hobby but we won't forget and we shouldn't forget that there's some guys that can't afford or just they just won't afford uh, the high price uh, fancy tobacco and as I said there's nothing here in the line of we're not talking roll flakes we're not talking I don't know um, cake tobaccos or something very complicated it's just very straight uh, ribbon normally perhaps underlined uh, by a bit of aroma not overly complex but still a good smoke so that's at least my opinion so my answer is yes it should be possible uh, to to have fun in the hobby and to go with a good smoke even for economy uh, price but that's just my opinion. Um, of course, you, you can think completely different. Uh, probably many of you are, but. All right, I think that's it for today. I probably forgot most of the things I wanted to tell and total lot of things I didn't want to tell. Want to tell. So Bjorn, sorry, no offense. Uh, what, well, just the truth and I think nothing to be ashamed uh, of car, uh, of just being in a car hole so <laughs> I like the stuff all right guys mm, that's it for now hope you all are well hope you all have a decent smoke uh, at hand if it's economy or not mm. most important thing is that you like it and I hope you all are well. Take care and perhaps see you again.